Hey, good morning. Here with Chuck, and this is his second year racing. He bought a used boat with the Yamato 80. The boat's probably 15 years old or so. Uh, last summer, he filled in the tunnel with some scrap pieces of wood. And right now, we're going to show people how to do, to help make your bottom flatter. Kind of our first installment of how to make your boats go faster. And uh, let's get started. Yeah, let's go. So first thing you want to do is check for flatness. So we just got a four foot straight edge from Menards. And you want to go front to back, really all the way across. You can see this side's pretty good. There's a bit of a hook in it, and that's kind of to be expected with a boat that hasn't really been worked on a, a ton. And then you also want to go side to side. And you can see we've got a bit of a gap there in the center. So we're going to work on knocking this part down, and then we're going to go in and fill this out and get it all good and flat. So okay, we've got an old surface plate. It weighs probably 40 or 50 pounds. We stuck on some 36 grit to on the bottom flat surface. Um, some guys use stink blocks, some guys use big 4x4s and, and chunks. This we found worked for us to uh, kind of get the heavy stuff done. And then from there we'll, we'll finish up with some 80 grit. But we'll get started. All right, so you can see the nice thing about using a big block is with the heavy grit, you start to knock down the high spots right away. And that's what you really want to do first is get the high spots knocked down, get it as flat as you can. And then if you got spots that are gonna to be too low, you gotta scuff them up and fill it. One thing you'll notice too is since it did have a hook, we're actually going through the carbon a bit in the back and we're starting to see it on this side as well. So we'll get it flat. We'll try not to go through that much more and then we'll probably have to glass over everything. No. All right, so one of the things with the heavy grit and the heavy block is you really gotta have good horses, and we usually put some weights on there. And on this one, you gotta sometimes hold the boat or use your body to help it when you're pulling back towards you. All right, so we did the first rough pass with the big block and the 36 grit. Um, you can see it's actually, it's pretty flat right now. We've got the high spots knocked down. That's all the stuff that's darker and, or I should say, uh, hazier that's been sanded. These are all low spots. Um, and so since we don't want to go much further into the carbon or the cloth on here, we're going to scuff this up with a little block and then we're going to start filling up these uh, low spots. So basically just a little block with 36 grit. People can use whatever they want. Uh, you're really just trying to get the shine off so the new epoxy sticks to it. Okay, so we've got the low spots all scuffed up just with 36 grit. Uh, it doesn't really matter what direction you sand it, you just want to get it scuffed up so the epoxy sticks to it. Uh, next what we're going to do is actually tape along the outside. We're going to raise it up basically just the thicknesses of a couple of strips of tape. Um, and then we'll show you as we kind of trowel on the epoxy. So you want to tape this, go around the low spots, and then we're going to shim the boat up. So it's actually good and flat. So we're gonna raise the back of the boat up. So this is flat. So we've got epoxy in here and it's resting. It doesn't just sag and run off the back of the boat. So we'll be back in a bit. <laughs> All right, we're mixing up our West system. We're using the uh, fast hardener, of course. And we're putting a little bit of 403 microfibers in here just to give it a little bit more strength. We think because this got pretty low in the back and then you can see the fibers are missing here we're gonna end up putting fiberglass in the whole bottom, so we don't need this to be super strong, but we wanted to give it a little bit more structure to it. So we're gonna mix it, and then we'll start trawling it in and take a video of that. All right, so we got a straight edge and that's running alongside the tape. Um, and basically, we're just taking the slightly thickened epoxy and starting to fill in the low spot. So you just kinda of gotta work it back and forth. You'll see we're getting some streaks here. But by the time we're done, it should be fairly, fairly flat. And that keeps you from having to sand it all back down again. All right, so we've got the bottom filled in. We end up using a uh, straight edge. 
worked out okay. We had some clumps of silica that kind of dragged and made some ditches, so we went back and filled it. So it's pretty thin, so it'll continue to settle down. We'll let it dry and then uh, probably come back sand it tonight or tomorrow.